If you had to pick between your spouse or your parent, who would you choose? Ms. Glass says that when it comes to their relationship, her boyfriend, Mr. Wellens, seems to choose the latter. Ms. Glass says Mr. Wellens needs to cut the umbilical cord from his mother because she is tired of him playing games with her heart. Mr. Wellens says he loves his mother and he doesn't want to lose Ms. Glass. He feels that he has more than enough love to be both a mama's boy and a good husband. Ms. Glass says she is over it and Mr. Wellens had better make the right choice or she will be sending him back home to his mama alone. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Glass versus Wellens. Thank you very much. Ms. Glass and Mr. Wellens. Ms. Glass, you're here in court today because you say that in addition to being an insecure cheater, Mr. Wellens is also a mama's boy with a gambling problem. You say you refuse to settle for someone who doesn't make you happy, and you are ready to let go of this relationship. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Wellens, welcome back. You say you are here this time in divorce court because Ms. Glass is your soulmate. She should be you left the other lady for, didn't she? You say you love Ms. Glass, want to marry her, and are willing to do anything to make your relationship work. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll see, because, you know, Mr. Wellens, I said when I saw the court papers, I said, well, wait a minute. Didn't one of my predecessors have a conversation with Mr. Wellens? Let me go on over here to Ms. Glass. Ms. Glass, why are we here today? I'm here today, Your Honor, because I am done with this relationship. I refuse to be with a mama's boy, an insecure cheater, an addicted gambler. This man stole from me. Um, mm. There are way too many options out here for me to settle for something like that. And you do know that the first thing I'm gonna say to you, Miss Glass, is how you get him sometimes comes back to bite you on your little butt. You might have a cute butt, but it sometimes comes back to bite you. Miss Glass says, Mr. Wellens, you have not been doing the right thing. What do you say? I'm here for Elizabeth, the love of my life. I want to save this relationship. I plan on marrying her. And we both are Virgos. We don't have too many problems. You know, I think the good days actually outweigh the bad days, Your Honor. Well, we'll see if the good days outweigh the bad days, because Miss Glass seems to say that she tired. And you know when a sister gets tired, a sister is tired. Ms. Glass, make your case. How did you all meet and what gets us here today? So, originally we met on social media. Mm -hmm. um, admittedly, he did tell me he was ending an engagement. I did continue to talk to him. Um, and when it was over, everything was good. Everything was dandy. Went on our first date to Trader Joe's. We made sal bacon wrapped salmon at his house. Everything was great. So, you all were actually, you kicked off a relationship while he said he was ending a relationship. Yes, Your Honor, I was the side chick immediately. I gotta ask you something, woman to woman. How does that make you feel? Because you're beautiful. You're beautiful, and I read you're successful, you got your own thing going on. How does that make you feel to be, you know, somebody's side person? Well, he told me that he was ending it. And I mean, the bond was so good and it was so natural, it really felt like it was meant to be. And it was out of the ordinary. I don't normally do stuff like that, but... It, I was so close to him, and since he said he was in it, I trusted him. And, Mr. Wellens, did you actually end it? Or did it end when you ended up here on divorce court the first time? Yes, ma'am. It was a, it officially ended 2018, the last show I was on. Me and Elizabeth, we kind of was talking, you know, and we fell for each other fast. Like I say, we're both Virgos. We both agree on a lot of things. Well, she so. said you all were vibing. There is no question. But I'm looking at her face right now, and it looks like something has changed. And the number one complaint is what I read is this mama's boy thing is what you just can't put up with. Explain to me what's going on. We literally planned a trip to Puerto Rico, had everything booked, ready to go. I just came back from Puerto Rico. Yeah, you like it? I, oh, my gosh. Bro. I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> it was fabulous. It was wonderful. So, tell me about this trip. Um, we had everything planned and booked. I mean, our relationship was going great. It was perfect. And he told me, he told his mom about it. This woman threw such a big tantrum, he literally took my name off the reservation and put hers on there. But he didn't go, did he? No. So it was, it was a waste of money, waste of time. I didn't get my trip. It was just pleasing his mom, not protecting me at all. And that's just one thing. 
Mr. Wellens. Your Honor. You cannot trip... tell her. You cannot tell a girl that you're taking her to Puerto Rico and then flip the script. That's not right. What happened? Yes, ma'am. I understand. But I called my mom. Me and my mom talked about the situation. Mm -hmm. And my mom went into details, like, telling me, you know, you don't have a card with all this going on in the world. Plus, Your Honor, I'm scared of planes. So I didn't... I, I really didn't want to go. And I had something else planned in the way. It was a gambling trip with this, a big football game that I had put placed a lot of money on, Your Honor. So, I mean, I canceled the trip and, and went with my choice. Um, and where was this gambling trip? Uh, it was in Vegas. You live in Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Did you drive to Vegas? No. But you weren't too scared to get on a plane to go to I, Vegas. But, ma'am, it was prior. I had already placed the money. It was a large amount that I so had So the amount bet. of money you placed on the bet got rid of your fear of planes. I mean, yes, ma'am. I, I, I slept the whole flight, ma'am. That's That excuse don't really I, work, I sir. I faced my fear, ma'am. I bet you did <laughs> face your fear. So, okay. I'm gonna tell you, Mr. Mellon, I would have been ticked off. You have every right to be ticked off. I don't understand what would make him replace your trip for his mama. I don't either. Are there any other situations? Because, you know, in order to really get married to this man, you are gonna have to have a relationship with his mother. That's just the way it works. And she's made it very clear that she is not fond of me. I mean, Why she's... doesn't she like you? What's going on? What has happened? I, I believe it has to be jealousy or she doesn't want to let her son go because she's disrespectful. She, she called. He's, on the, he's chilling with me. He says, oh, yeah, I'm with Liz. Oh, you're still with her? I thought you got rid of her. Woo! What did I do to you that would make you act like that towards me? What's going on with mom and Miss Glass? Why, why doesn't your mom like her? I don't even want to speak for my mom. I'm going to just let her do that. Sorry that she got a problem with that, but she knew that from the beginning. I don't know what he want with you anyway, <laughs> with your promiscuous dress and self. That's just never going to be acceptable. She didn't protect me. That's exactly what I okay. said. Okay. That's, that's my mother. So, Mr. Wellens, help me to understand that. What's going on with mom and Miss Glass? Why, why doesn't your mom like her? And be blunt. My mom and my girl are very important to me. I cannot juggle both of them. Sometimes it's a headache. It just, oh, I know... can imagine it would be a headache, but why doesn't your mother like her? I don't know what's going on. Well, have you spoken to your mother about you, this? Your Honor, you know what? I don't even want to speak for my mom. I'm going to just let her do that. Oh, that's right. She submitted a piece of evidence. You want to make sure that I hear from her. Yes, she... And she couldn't come, but she wanted to submit a statement. Correct. Let me hear that statement. Yes, he's a mama's boy. And I'm sorry that she had a problem with that, but she knew that from the beginning. I don't know what he want with you anyway, <laughs> with your promiscuous dress and self. All these little bitty short dresses and these halter top blouses with all your boobs hanging out. You need to get some business about yourself. Yes, he needs a church-going woman because he was raised in the church. A man need a woman that can cook also. She, she can't cook. My son had to come all the way home to get a good home-cooked meal because every time she cooks, it seems like to me she just can't get it right. First of all, I can cook. My bacon-wrapped salmon is delicious, for the record. Um, but that's your woman. I know, ma'am. That's, that's my mother. I know, but this, do you know how you check your mom? You say, Mom, I love you with all my heart and soul, but what you're not gonna do is disrespect the lady that I love. That's it. And yeah. mom's gotta respect that. You're right, ma'am. Because either she raised you to be a grown man that's gonna treat people with respect, or she raised you to be a little punk. <laughs> okay? Yes, ma'am. And only a little punk would allow somebody to talk to the woman that they love like that. I'm sorry. That's not... That's just never going to be acceptable. You didn't protect me. That's exactly what I okay? said. Okay? And you would be the one that needs to tell her. I, I talk with... That's not Miss... That's not Miss Glass's role. Yes, ma'am. Um, and, and by the way, what does she do to dress provocatively? I think you look pretty. The disrespect is insane. He won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't say anything to her about it. It's I'm, not I'm all the time. Woman. Elizabeth, she dressed nice sometimes like this. She covered up. But, you know, it outweighs the time when she don't wear a bra or whatever, like... Okay. I'm an adult. I mean, is I understand. What... It's a time and place, Elizabeth. I figure I'm an adult. 
I look good. I don't see what the issue is. My husband, if I, you know, I'm looking a little semi-crazy, which is rare, because, you sure. know, I don't look crazy. <laughs> but if I had on something that he thought, mm, mm, maybe not, Star, he would say that. Did you say anything to Miss Glass? I, I mean, I said something often. I don't mind. They're very nice. Don't well, then you wrong. know what? If that's your woman and you don't mind the way she looks, then you're supposed to be proud when you roll up I'm in the proud, place. I'm proud, but everyone... Okay, imagine if I'm not with her. And she's always telling me, guys are always staring at me. Guys are always trying to approach me and talk to me. Well, Your Honor, guess what? If you're out looking slutty, you're gonna get slutty results. Um, but, but I'm with you. I'm but, talking but about when you're it's not, not it's with not me. It's not my fault to, that these men are predators. I let him use my car once. He told me it was gonna be cool. He was gonna put a couple bets on a game that he doesn't even watch, by the way. I look at my car, I have $4,000 worth of charges. Four grand. You lost that amount of money because yes. I don't He's gamble online. He's not even online. good at it. He's not even good at it. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. You're not saying that she has done or said anything inappropriate to encourage some man to do something wrong, have you? I don't know what she's doing. When, she's come, when she come home, she tells me these stories that guys are always trying to talk to her and you got your breasts hanging out. Of course. You worried about my breasts, but you over here stealing from me, using my credit card to gamble, though, right? Okay, so now we talked about Mama's Boy. Now you're saying uh, about stealing? Your Honor, I let him use my card once. He told me it was gonna be cool. He was gonna put a couple bets on a game that he doesn't even watch, by the way. I look at my card, I have $4,000 worth of charges. Four grand. Four uh -oh. grand. It I looks like... Up... Wait, 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 wait. Robert, please get that for me. Please, please, He's please. losing. Lost, 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 lost. Lost. What? These are card notes, bills. This is stuff. You didn't let me know anything. That has not paid it. It's just sitting there building interest, building interest. This is and on a were... credit card. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna pay so it. Wait. It's still sitting there. I, I want to be very clear where it's where it says lost. That means you lost that amount of money because yes. I don't He's gamble online. He's not even online. good at it. He's not even good at it. Okay, 421 lost $1,045. <laughs> 421 lost, that's the same day, lost. Does your mom have anything to say about that? $462.25. Your Honor, she wasn't saying nothing when I took her on a shopping spree. That time I hit 7K. Okay, maybe you should have used it to pay the 4000 I spent three bands and on you. And that has what to do with you lying, using But wait a minute, Mr. My... Mr. Wellens on the real? I'm gonna quote Chris Rock. Why the <laughs> always want credit for stuff they supposed to do? I mean, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to replace it with this next bet. But you're losing. This Boy. gambling business is very risky. Gamble with your money. How you going to gamble with I her did. money? This is her credit card. <laughs> Literally $4,000. And this is building interest, and it's ruining her credit because she's not paying it off. Oh, that's not even the half of it, Your Honor. It, it There's more? It the was... Vegas trip he's talking about? That was supposed to be our trip. We saved two grand for that trip. I took time off of work. I lost money trying to go on this trip. That man blew through that money. Did not, still has not taken me. Right. Another trip lost. But doesn't, didn't, you tell me you were going because you had put a lot of money yeah. on something. I did, on the Lakers. It wasn't my fault. You don't even watch I placed it, it on the Lakers. Lakers. LeBron actually owed me for this. Seriously. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, until next time, but I know I'm going to get better at this app, Your Honor. It's an I make more than what I lose. It just was this time. No, but this is her money. It was her money. I know. But we make mistakes, and I'm going to clear it up. Okay, but you don't make mistakes with my money. You can do a whole lot, but you don't make mistakes with my money. That part. You know what I'm saying? Yes, That part. You don't make mistakes with my money. $4,000? It's risky. A risky business. It's an addiction. Um, and it's an addiction that I wouldn't put up with. I'm letting you know right. that right now. I want you to have an opportunity, an opportunity to defend yourself because right now, Mr. Wellens, it's not looking like you're doing anything to foster a relationship with this young lady. Your Honor, 
I do nice things all the time for her. I get her hair and her nails done. Is that to make up for the cheating and disappearing on the weekends and trying to flip it on me? So there's now cheating. Okay, now we started off with Mama's Boy. We moved to financial problems. Now we're on cheating. It's really funny that he accuses me of being... It's, uh, it's this whole, oh, why are you dressed like this? Other men are looking at you. Because in the meantime, he's doing his own thing. There was a weekend where he literally disappeared the whole weekend. I sent him a text. He didn't respond. Stopped responding to me in the middle of a conversation. Didn't hit me back for two days. When he comes back home, I obviously want to know what's going on. Who are you with? What are you doing? Oh, well, you didn't check on me while I was gone. You don't care about my safety. That was a cute deflection. But wait a minute, here's my question. He Did he, was he at the hospital? No, he just went out of town. I don't know where he went. I don't know who he was with. Y'all live, live in the same house? Yes. Ma'am, listen. It was another private trip. A private trip. private trip. I don't get a trip, but you're taking private trips. And sometimes my phone trip, <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting service. <laughs> It happens. She doesn't answer the phones all the time, Your Honor. I'm not taking I don't taking trip promises. about it. You know? And this was before her. This is a business before I met her. This I is a business that is not successful, sir. You got a text, though. You got a text from a girl saying she misses you, though. So your phone was working then. Mr. Wellens, can you defend yourself? Of course I can defend myself. I don't know who that was. Now you don't know. You told me that it was somebody from before. That it was okay. an, old, an old girlfriend. Okay. Now you don't know her? If it is, it probably was business. Wow. Okay, Miss Glass, you, you came here to court today because you said Mr. Wellens <sighs> is a mama's boy and it's time to cut the umbilical cord. You also said that he has a problem with gambling and it clearly is an insecure cheater or at least somebody that you can't depend on. He's Mr. Wellens, you said you love Miss Glass. You think that she doesn't get along with your mother, and that's really what is causing some of the problems because you don't want to pick sides. But, sir, you don't think you have a problem with gambling, and you claim not to be a cheater. I don't know if you're a cheater or not. You do have a problem with gambling, but you also have a problem with the truth because anybody that would spend somebody else's money like this willy-nilly you don't know what this woman is going to need to do with that extra $4,000 of credit on a credit card. Because that's an emergency. God forbid she should get in an accident. You know, the vice president of the United States always talks about how $400 could mess up a family if they have an unexpected expense. Okay? There's some credit cards that I don't even use because, God forbid, I might need to have an emergency something. So you didn't take that into account? What she's doing, she was nice enough to let you uh, borrow for all practical purposes, three, four hundred dollars, so you could place a bet. You took advantage of it, Miss Glass. Quiet, Kemp. I'm looking at you. You, 32 years old. You are a smart, beautiful, talented young lady, and you are too old for these kind of shenanigans. You know what? Sometimes you make a mistake, and you know how you were the side chick before. Well, you need to kick somebody to the side now. Well, he should have bet on the Knicks. <laughs> 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 That's the New Yorker in me. It's oh always going to be for the Knicks. You know that. You know what, man? Not only he should have bet on the Knicks, but I think it's LeBron's fault that he's not with him now. Exactly. And the, that young lady needs to run fast. Yeah. Do not pass go. Mm. Do not collect $200. Get the heck out of there. And meanwhile, mom is fanning herself in Puerto Rico right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Running her mouth. Oh, please. She need to go get her own man. Yeah. Uh-huh. And let him go off the breast. Mm -hmm. Hello?